So, breaking news, we actually have some more spoilers for the fairy tale chapter. I don't normally do this unless there's some very interesting stuff in this chapter, and boy, have we got some more interesting stuff on there. So, apologies for me, like, for not doing this in one full centered video, but I will make amends for that probably next week. And we're going to go right more. And if you've already seen like the other spoilers and all that, in case you just haven't, I will link the other video down below so you can go and see that one where we talk about like the first couple of pages and alongside what we thought most of the chapter. We're going to be focusing mainly on what like kind of the new pages and all that and what more information that we've got since we've had the big reveal already told to us about a certain white dragon eel. So we get to see with the other pages that came out as well, a lot of it was being focused on like definitely Minerva and Rogue, like kind of like aftermath. We can see one picture of them just completely just devastated. They're just completely wiped out. They've got no energy. They're completely toasted, done. They're like, we can't handle this no more. We, we need a break or something. It's like, this is, even though they managed to take down two of the Spriggans, so they're kind of a little bit exhausted, but it's like, can we can continue doing this. And somehow meet up with Angel, you know, and Serrano, like, are funny there. And I'm like, wow, like, you know, they uh, they were kind of gone for a while. And I'm thinking, you know, like, okay, what's the kind of beginning on their use? Since they've clearly been battling, and she's like, just fucked up in our position. So I was like, all right, at least, you know, finding good characters. And like, I was saying with the last spoilers is that this chapter definitely seems like it's going to be focusing on a lot more of the side characters. And it feels weird after the big reveal that we just had with uh, like Urza, with the Irene and the relation. And then we turn like back and we get to see what Lakade is doing. And he's on top of like some graves or monuments and he's on top meditating with the sun. And it definitely proves the theory that, yeah, this is what like Akade was going for as this peaceful like kind of Buddhist monk and from what we got shown of this powers as it's acting this ultimate power which looks like fairy like we don't have the confirmation whether or not this is like some fairy lore or some new kind of version where he's just like doing some uh, massive ultimate attack of this so I'm thinking this is like one of his most strongest techniques that he's leaving out to like decimate the opponent so I'm wondering like what is really with this technique that he's doing and like we still don't know too much apart from that his whole thing is like he gives his opponents pleasure right before the agony of death. Like, he, like, leaves people with, like, something to remember them by. Like, like it's very weird, his technique. Like I said before, it feels like a JoJo stand ability. And it feels like, what, well, what can you really do if, like, the range of this is just, it's limitless. Like, if it can just do anything and all that, it's like, what's going to happen at that? Like, you know, and I think, like, what's going to happen is that, like, Minerva, like, Rogue, alongside with Yukino and also as well Serrano Angel is that they're gonna like say like we've all met up and Akadi is gonna be up on this hill and then I think he's gonna be using this magic and I don't know what's gonna be doing like he's gonna actually think about this because we clearly know with the end of the chapter with what we've heard a little bit about Swallows is that Kagura is supposed to ride at this point and that the next uh, title is gonna be called Kagura versus Lakade Dragneel so it's going to be a weird how she's acting, like, you know, how Kagura is really going to deal with this fight. And the fact that it's like, what, it, like, is he going to, did he jump down? Like, did he, is, like, did, like, Dragneel, like, just jump down there and he's like, I'm going to fight you now, like, hand-to-hand. -hand. Because he clearly doesn't look like a hand-to-hand -hand opponent. Like, he feels like someone that would, like, if you do encounter them, he's doing the praying thing. That there's going to be, like, a barrier. Like, she have, like, a Bork from, like, Magi is going to have, like, in, like enshroud him throughout the entirety of this. So, I want to know, like, his powers, his abilities, and even with August mentioning it in this chapter, like, it's something that's, ter like, terrifying to him, where it's like, yeah, you need to, like, watch out for this ability, and I want to know. And it's interesting that we finally got this, like, big reveal, like, like alongside it with his identity. I won't say, just in case some people don't know that right there, but I've already done a video on that as well, so you can go check that one out. But, like, yeah, we know his identity, what his relations are to Zeref, Adding into the fact that we know, like, his powers are, like, some weird XD, like, we give your opponent XD and then they die in an agonizing death, like, sounds like something what an angel would do, and it's, like, how do you think, like, if there's anything, if it's, like, his power's gonna be cool, he's either some, like, angel slayer, like, holy slayer, like, or just, it is gonna focus on that, and the fact that his whole, like, attire is to do with religion and to peace and harmony and, like, holiness and... That is the theme of this drag meal, and I want to see what's going to go on with this. And I'm so excited the more with the next, like, couple of stuff. Where we, it's, it feels like quite a long wait, but then a short one as well. Like, we've only got to wait till Monday until we got to find out more about this chapter and everything going on to there. But it's just amazing. I cannot wait for Monday, and I'm glad that we just get these sports and shows and stuff. And it's just like, ah, I need, I need more. I need the chapter effect. But... I won't be greedy. I won't. I like, I'll always take whatever Yonko or any of the other like translators or any of the guys that get in the pictures or the cover. 
you know, they do already a great job enough as it is, and, you know, always appreciating that, I'll do my own Lucati with that, but then it's, it's like, it's almost like sneak peek previews, and I do like that, it does get me, brings, like, reiterates me, like, oh, I'm really excited for the chapter, and uh, bring a little bit more to the table, so I am very much looking forward to that, and just honestly, let me know what you guys think in the comment section, like, there's so much to know, and, like, what do you think he's doing, like, it almost looks like he was doing some kind of, like, fairy lore technique, we didn't know too much about, though, we didn't see any text on there at all, so we don't know if that is some kind of, like, fairy lore level technique, or that's his own magic, we have to see, and this is the problem with, like, manga format, is that you can't tell unless you actually look at it, and it's, we don't know as well when something isn't translating, it's like, ah, it just makes the brain, like, go around and things, things, and I love that, but, oh, I need to know at the same time, so, ladies and gentlemen, we are gonna have to wait till Monday, but that is all for me, thank you all always for watching you love fairy tales as much as i do then you know what hit that like and that subscribe that is all from me i've been your host with the most with the pounds savage white panda and i'll see you beautiful bastards all next time